Hello friends, I am making a video to show the current state of the roller derby project that I've been working on. Uh, to test skating, I made a basically a practice space instead of a roller derby game um, because figuring out how to calculate position around a track is going to be an intensive process and first I need to figure out how to make skating work. Um, and this is Core, which is a game development platform that uh, well, it provides a lot, so it gives you just like a hosting link and creates servers for you and gives you multiplayer just out of the box as, long, as well as like a movable player. So it's like really fun for modeling things and stuff like that. Um, but it is intended for those players to run around. Um, and so when people do things where the players don't run around, they tend to just like make completely new objects. But I like the players, um, so I'm trying to figure out how to make running around feel like skating. Um, and yes, I think this is a complete work of art. This is all inspired by the bad warehouse. Um, and yeah, I can just show you, just so you believe me that I made all of this. Uh, where is it? I can hide all of the kind of surface decoration that I've done. Look at that. This is the before a flat track and everything like that is pretty much the same. You can see some things are actually the materials and then boom, after. Look at that. I'm so proud of this like ceiling water damage. I'm not sure that's realistic water damage, but I'm still very, very proud of it. Um, and I could kind of get into it, but basically like this shape here and this shape here and this shape here and here are all the same one, just scaled to different uh, uses. So this is kind of like a faded out sort of dirt thing. Then if you stretch it really pointy, it gets that kind of water flow feeling. And like, I've got this in the corner, just the wet puddle, very enjoyable. Um, and yeah, the deformation on that and, uh, the number 14, I'm not sure why it's 14, but I know that beam is 14. Um, and, uh, yeah. And then the skate park, Mostly I actually ripped it from another game that somebody else made, um, and then I just took the pieces I wanted. Making a skate park is like one of the first things I tried in core, and the sort of difficulty is is that you have this thing called a walking angle, so players can never really get up here, no matter how much momentum they have, it's just like, it stops there. And it's because you need um, you need to be able to control where your players can go so they don't just like get into these out-of-bounds areas and get stuck in them forever, and it sucks. Um, so the max walkable angle is a whole thing, and I don't think I can make it 90 degrees. So anyway, I'm going to jump in and show you... Uh, what it is like to skate in here. Okay, boom. So this is my character. Um, I don't remember how it is that I change characters. Anyway, there is a way, and I have a couple of remade characters, but this is... She's my favorite. Her name is Nalo, I think. I can never actually remember what her name is, but it's because there's not uh, a whole lot that affects it. So you run over to the locker room, you get the option to gear up, and you get these sweet roller skates that I modeled. Those are my uh, zombie wheels, but with a blue aluminum hub, um, and pretty much inspired by my own skates. Um, and then once you have that, the movement is pretty different. You've got the slow acceleration, and then when you stop, it slides. And that is basically how I've created skating. You also don't have side-to-side -side movement yet. What I'm working on is basically replacing the side-to-side -side movement with a hit left and a hit right, but I don't have a good animation for that, so I'm not exactly sure how that's going to go yet, but um, it's pretty challenging to go around this track, and you have to kind of skate the diamond. Um, never, and you'll see, you'll see she does this reverse crossover that drives me crazy. Um, but, uh, and without going out of bounds, it's, eh, it's actually gotten easier. I've made it more difficult by increasing the max speed before, but like something like weaving these cones is virtually impossible, especially now that you don't have left and right movement. Um, but what I want to do is change that so that it's actually pretty fast acceleration and zero slide. Um, and I don't know how to pull that off, but we can try the ramps. I don't think this is going to be very satisfying. Um, but, uh, oh, stuck in the wall. Okay. Run up there. Let's do it. Um, okay. I can't even keep her on the ramp. 
All right, yep, so I made my max angle the highest that I could. Let's see, we can probably... I gotta disable. Yeah, you can see the helmet takes the markings. Woo! Boom. Um, so we should be able to go up that. And there's not really like a 180, and I don't have the turn, so the only thing you can do is like jump, turn, and go forward, which is not that cute. But uh, yeah, that's the idea. Um, and I don't think I've decreased the height of the jump, so you actually can't jump on this grind rail right now, which I could either lower it, or this jump is pretty small. I just didn't want, what I didn't want was people basically jumping instead of moving, which is kind of what happens if you've ever seen, like, people who are supposed to be watching a concert in, like, Fortnite or whatever, they just jump constantly. I just jump constantly. Um, and it kind of destroys the, the visual that I'm going for here. So, yep. That's the game. This is everything I have so far. Um, I'm very pleased with this whiteboard. Actually, do I have the... Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I have a dive roll. It wasn't what I intended it to be. It's just me working on different ways. I can kind of do a toe stop drag, but the character does this like whoosh arm in front of her animation. That's not as cool, but yeah, this is my grungy whiteboard and penalty box and um, got some bleachers. And over here, my pride and joy, although I'm not sure why that milk crate is blue, but um, I guess it's supposed to be. I thought I set it to a different color. Anyway, um, is the lost and found table with my best approximation of rumpled clothing. We don't have a lot of organic shapes, so I actually made this milk crate. I'm extremely, extremely, come on, you can do it. Uh, extremely proud of this milk crate. Um, but that's because it doesn't have a lot of organic shapes. So if you want something that's like a shiny plasticky texture, I have just the material and that kind of thing. And then I also made the water bottle and the table and the folding chair. All of these are my creation. Not the door. Um, and we've got our fake sponsor banners, Generic Skate Co. and Core itself over here. But uh, yeah, that's it. This is the... Oh, okay. I need to turn off those outlines. Um, these, the kind of, there's two shapes you're seeing here is one of them is actually tracing where the boundary is according to the hitbox. Um, and I don't know if you can hear, but there's a whistle sound if you are on the track and leave. Um, I don't know if I'm recording desktop audio. Um, yeah, and we can kick over the cones, which is pretty, uh, authentic roller derby experience, I would say. Uh, boom. And yeah, this is uh, the space right now. Happy roller derby.